Hello friends, today we are going to see how to swap two numbers without using a third variable. So let's see. So as you can see here, these are the two variables x and y. The value of x is 5 and the value of y is 10. So at first we will see the method in which we use the third variable in a very short time. So as you all are aware of this method, temp is equal to x, x is equal to y and y is equal to temp. And this temp is that third variable which is used in this method. So let's first execute this method. See what is the first statement? temp is equal to x. So temp is equal to x. So what is the value of x? Value of x is 5. Okay. Now x is equal to y. The second statement x is equal to y. So what is the value of y? That is 10. And the third statement is y is equal to temp. So y is equal to temp. So what is the value of temp? That is 5. Now see what is the result x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 5 that means the value of x and y is successfully swapped. Now x is 10 and y is 5 so the values are swapped. Now we have to do it without using the third variable okay. So let's see how to do this. There are two methods for doing this and the first method is by using addition and subtraction. So let's execute these three statements and let's see how they swap the values of these two variables. So as you know at first the value of x is 5 and the value of y is 10. Okay. So let's execute the first statement. x is equal to x plus y. That means x will become x plus y means 5 plus 10 that is 15 and what is the value of y at this current stage means what is the value of y in memory now that is unchanged because there is no statement which affects the value of y so the value of y remains unchanged only the value of x changes to x is equal to x plus y. So x is 15 and y is unchanged and the value of y is 10. Now let's execute second statement. Second statement c y is equal to x minus y means y is equal to x minus y. So what are the latest values of x and y? They are 15 and 10 respectively. So x minus y means 15 minus 10. So value of y is 5. And what is the value of x? That value will remain same. Because in the second statement, we don't change the value of x. So that value will remain same as previous means whatever was the value of x after execution of first statement that value will remain unchanged for the second statement execution and that value is 15. Okay now let's go to the third statement. So x is equal to x minus y. So let's do that x is equal to x minus y see x is 15 and y is 5 so x will be 15 minus 5 so that is 10 okay and what is the value of y see the value of y is not affected in the third statement so that value will remain unchanged okay so y is 5 now see the result x is 10 and y is 5 so the values of x and y are successfully swapped. Now x is 10 and y is 5. So the values are swapped. Okay. So this is the first method. Now let's do the second method. And that method uses XOR operation. Okay. This is a bit operation. This is a bit operation. And that is why this method is a bit faster for the execution. So 
So for using this method at first we should know the XOR table. So see these are the inputs this, this is the first input second input. So when both are 0 the output remains 0 and when both values are 1 the output remains 0. Means for the same values suppose both are same then the output becomes 0 and for two different values see 0 1 or 1 0 the output comes 1 ok. So this is the XOR table. Now let's execute this method see what is x x is 5 so at first x is 5 so what is the binary of 5 0 1 0 1 and what is y y is 10 so what is the binary of 10 1 0 1 0 okay now see x is equal to x x or y so that is the first statement x is equal to x x or y so let's do that x and y are xored so 0 1 0 1 and 1 0 1 0 let's do the xor operation so 0 1 what is 0 1 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 the output is 1 0 1 again 1 and 1 0 is 1 okay so x is equal to 1 1 1 1 okay and what is the value of y at this stage value of y is unchanged because there is no statement which affects the value of y so that is 1 0 1 0 so this is the first statement execution okay let's go to the second statement what is second statement y is equal to x x or y so y is equal to what is the statement x x or y so what is x the latest value of x is 1 1 1 1 and what is y see y is 1 0 1 0 so as i have told you 1 x or 1 is 0 because 1 and 1 are same for same inputs you can see here for same inputs the output is 0 for xor operation and for different inputs the output is 1 0 1 and 1 0 gives output 1 1 so now 1 0 different inputs so output is 1 1 1 0 the output is 0 because that is the same input 1 1 and 1 0 as it is the different input the output is 1 so the value of y is now 0 1 0 1 and what is the value of x at this stage what is the value x is 1 1 1 1 that value is unchanged in this statement so after the execution of second statement this st second statement the value of x and y are here okay now let's go to the third statement okay now see what is the third statement x is equal to x x or y so let's do that x is equal to x x or y so what is x x is 1 1 1 1 and what is y y is 0 1 0 1 okay so see 1 0 is 1 different input output is 1 1 1 is 0 1 x or 0 is 1 and 1 x or 1 is 0. So the value of x is 1 0 1 0 and what is the value of y? Value of y is unchanged in the third statement. So value of y is 0 1 0 1. See the result. Now x is 1 0 1 0. When we started the value of x was 0 1 0 1 and the value of y was 1 0 1 0 but now the value of y is swapped to the value of x means now the value of x is 1 0 1 0 and the value of y is 0 1 0 1 so in this way the values are swapped as you know 1 0 1 0 is 10 and y 
is 0 1 0 1 means that is 5 these are the decimal representations so in this way by using XOR operation we can swap the two numbers without using third variable and this method works faster because this is a bit operation okay and this method is also easy but this works slower with the processor okay hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below Thank you.